Hogs in the United States are not only famous for their impressive size, but also for their distinctive movement habits, creating a unique natural scene of activity in their habitat. A herd of wild boars usually consists of from a few to dozens of animals, moving together to optimize protection and defense against predators, while also practicing effective foraging skills. This behavior becomes especially prominent in situations where predation risk is increased. The boar herd's pegs display incredible agility and speed, and their fluidity of movement allows them to reach speeds of up to 25 mph, facilitating their escape potential threat. In particular, their excellent swimming ability also plays an important role in the overall mobility of the herd. The ability to root effectively is an important tool that wild boars use to exercise and use their teeth and hooves. They are capable of digging and extracting food sources from the environment, showing ingenuity in obtaining nutrients from a distance. These unique characteristics not only help them survive, but also help them thrive in their natural environment. The combination of agile mobility and adaptability in their diet are important factors that mark wild boars' success in adapting to different habitats. Trap location is an important factor. Traps are often placed in places where feral pigs often pass, such as on trails near food sources. Intelligence in combining trap design and trapping strategy is demonstrated to optimize the ability to catch wild boar. Regular inspection of traps is important to ensure that they are working properly and to safely capture wild boar. Regular large-scale inspections become even more important to avoid unwanted situations. The problem is that nighttime is when wild boars are most active, so checking traps in the evening is important to harvest wild pigs as soon as possible. The link between smartly designed trap strategies and effectiveness in catching feral pigs is important, and game-changing traps are truly an important step toward reshaping the way we face challenges. Control Wild Pig Herds Once the trap area is clear of wild pigs, quickly moving the trap to another area is important to maintain performance. Traps will be partially disassembled and parts moved to new areas to increase success rates. Choosing the right location is an important decision to ensure trap effectiveness. A unique strategy is to steal traps just before dark, expecting that a trap in that area will catch a herd of wild pigs. Waiting patiently overnight can yield surprising and impressive results. The innovation in trap design is the use of a trap with four main doors. When activated, the doors will collapse, 
creating a large space for harvesting wild boar. This is a newly designed synthetic trap that emphasizes innovation in the separation and harvesting of feral pigs. However, while this is a significant improvement, it poses challenges in terms of cost and deployment across a variety of terrains. We will update you with information as soon as possible. Developing and testing new technology and trapping is important to maintain transparency and assist the hunting community in understanding the advantages and limitations of these innovations. Setting traps near food sources to catch wild animals is not only an effective strategy but also a skillful combination of knowledge about survival habits and creativity in the art of hunting. This is based on a deep understanding of the nutritional habits of wild boar, an intelligent and sophisticated omnivore. Wild boars often have the habit of hunting at night and looking for food from many different sources, including plant foods, fruits, vegetables, grains, and small animals, such as mice and frogs. This is their preferred choices. Placing traps near these food sources helps facilitate the attraction of wild boars, causing them to accidentally trigger the traps. This requires a deep understanding of the natural cuisine that wild boars prefer. Setting traps out of sight of wild boars is an important step to increase your chances of catching them, as they often have a habit of protecting themselves and hiding when eating. Using the right bait is considered an art, especially when choosing food that wild boars prefer. Placing traps at the right height to avoid situations where they can jump over the trap is also an important technical aspect. There are many types of traps used to capture feral pigs near food sources, including spike traps, bait traps, and snap traps. Quick Trap Although simple is effective with its quick catch mechanism. When a spike boar trap is activated, there is a potential for injury due to its structure, which is often placed on trails frequented by wild boars. Bait traps, on the other hand, use food in combination with a toxic substance to create an independent effect. However, it is equally important to ensure the safety of those in the pit, not to place traps in locations that pose a risk to people or pets and to comply with all local regulations regarding the use of wild pig traps. This is not only an important step, but also an important part of being humane in the hunting process. The handling of occupied wild forests plays a decisive role in the overall success of the hunt. We need to remember that respect for nature and animals is key to maintaining balance and harmony in the environment.
Cooking wild turkey after a hunt is a fantastic experience to enjoy the rewards of an exciting hunt. Have you ever eaten wild turkey meat? If you have, please leave a yes in the comments below and share your thoughts on their taste. Wild turkey meat is fresh, delicious, and unique with a special savory flavor. Making cooking food from sources you hunt yourself a deeply connected experience between humans and nature. Culinary Yard is not only about enjoying the fresh and unique flavor of wild turkey meat, but also about the technical process from preparing meat to seasoning and cooking. Requiring patience and practice. Central. Food safety is a top concern, including washing, removing skin, and remaining fat. Marinating meat with spices and cooking at low temperatures to ensure even cooking. Hunting and cooking wild turkeys is not only a fun activity, but also an important part of American culinary culture. Providing delicious and nutritious food, wild turkey meat is a source of protein and healthy fats, containing many vitamins and minerals such as vitamin A, B vitamins, iron and zinc. Furthermore, hunting and cooking wild turkeys not only provides personal enjoyment but also plays an important role in managing wildlife populations. This can help control the number of harmful species, maintain balance in the ecosystem, and protect rare species. Active participation by hunters can help monitor and protect wildlife, while minimizing negative impacts on agriculture and communities. However, always remember to comply with regulations and safety measures to ensure a safe experience and enjoy the true value of the art of hunting and cooking from nature. Discover the special origins of the banting an animal native mainly to Southeast Asia. They prefer to live in lowlands, open forests and grasslands, although their main origin is in Southeast Asia. They have undergone migration and introduction to exist in many other countries around the world, including Australia, where they have become naturalized and live in the wild. Banting cattle often form herds of 5 to 20 individuals, creating a large and sociable community. The reproductive cycle lasts about 9 months, and after that, baby banting cows are born, which require special care from the parents in the early stages of life. Their gentle nature is special. They never attack humans, although they can invade vegetable gardens in search of food, causing damage to farms and gardens. However, the presence of banting cattle not only brings the challenge of property damage, but also the risk of spreading disease to other animals. This act of aggression requires wise resolution by Australian farmers. They have developed control measures to minimize the effects of bantings, combining maintaining ecological balance and protecting the health of both animals and humans. These measures not only minimize damage, but also ensure the safety and sustainability of the agricultural environment.
Innovative strategies for managing banting herds not only ensure AIDS prevention in environmental management, but also contribute positively to increased economic income. This method not only helps solve the problem of disease spread, but also brings economic benefits to the community. If you support this method, leave number one in your comments. Conversely, if you disagree, share zero. Two important precautions are used to manage the banting herd. The fence system was built to prevent banting herds from accessing livestock areas and pastures, helping to minimize risks and their negative impact on the agricultural economy. This is an effective means of maintaining a balance between protecting the environment and protecting farmers' income. The gentle nature of the banting differs from the wild and unruly behavior of feral horses, while banting cattle are well suited to their management model. Wild horse herds often tend to roam outside designated areas and engage in uncontrolled interactions with people on the road, leading to hazardous traffic situations. Wild horses were introduced to Australia in the late 18th century and quickly adapted to a variety of environments, from grasslands to deserts. Their large size and sturdy body, combined with dark brown or light brown fur, create a striking and unique image. The introduction of wild horses has brought a new appreciation for the beauty and power of horses in the Australian environment. To confront the encroachment of wild horses, the Australian government has deployed a live trapping strategy, using aircraft to attract them into previously established traps. This process ensures the effective capture of entire wild horse herds once they are captured, and this has been shared publicly with the community. Feral goats are becoming a major concern in Australia, especially in the state of New South Wales. It is estimated that there are more than 5.8 million wild goats, and they are considered a threat to more than 100 other animal species. Therefore, Hunting wild goats is considered completely legal and accepted. Feral goats in Australia are wild variants of domestic goats. They became wild after adapting to the Australian environment. Wild goats are highly fertile, with females able to become pregnant and give birth at any time of the year. A typical litter of feral goats consists of three animals, and they are found throughout Australia. But the largest populations often occur in areas such as New South Wales, Queensland, and South Australia, with feral goat populations possibly increasing. The negative impact of feral goats in Australia on biodiversity and environmental infrastructure is considered a threat to many native animal and plant species, as they consume food resources and compete with other species. In Australia, Wild goat meat can be an edible option and is often used in some local dishes. However, 
Wild goat meat consumption may vary depending on geographical area and personal preferences. Some people choose to eat wild goat meat because they consider it a natural and sustainable food. However, meat supply from areas with feral goats can affect population and environmental management. The challenge is whether you have ever tried this goat meat dish? What does it taste like? In some cases, people choose to domesticate and raise wild goats instead of hunting them. However, this is not a common practice because raising wild goats often requires special care. Caring for wild goats is a different task than domesticated goats. Wild goat farms may provide meat and products for wild goats sometimes managed to standards that ensure safety and sustainability. Another familiar animal you may know is the wild sheep, which shares some common characteristics with wild goats, such as the ability to adapt to a variety of environments from grasslands to mountains. Wild sheep often appear widely in many countries around the world, especially in Australia, New Zealand, and other European regions. A unique characteristic is their high fertility, which can lead to rapid population growth if left unchecked. Wild sheep present a unique image with large curved horns and shaggy fur setting them apart from the domesticated sheep commonly found on farms. The staggering number of wild sheep in Australia, estimated at around 60 million, creates a major challenge in managing and maintaining ecosystem balance. To control their population, the Australian government has allowed citizens to participate in wild sheep hunting activities with the condition that all hunting activities must comply with regulations and be licensed. Nice! The Hunters Despite facing significant challenges hunting wild sheep living in remote high-altitude areas, Remain determined. What is special is that some hunters even choose to collect the large curved horns of wild sheep for decoration, creating a combination of art and hunting. Not only wild goats, but also wild are a big concern that farmers must constantly find ways to solve. Today, wild wolves are present in every state except for one, and in particular, Few animals are better adapted to changing conditions than them. The rapid increase of wild wolves is the result of adaptation to special living conditions and a lack of natural enemies. They often engage in hunting activities at night, become bold, and often approach livestock farms in search of food. This is the time when wild wolves become threatening and formidable, posing a significant risk to the safety of livestock and farm animals. Statistical data shows that about 17,100 pets became victims of wolf attacks. This number is significant and is one of the main causes of heavy human and material losses in the livestock industry. To minimize the impact of wolves on agriculture and control their proliferation, many states allow year-round wolf hunting for up to 12 months. This measure is taken to protect rural areas from the adverse effects that are on livestock industry. Hey!